Senator Shannon Grove has announced that come November, she'll be running for the Senate in District 12. Grove currently representing District 16, but it was redrawn due to the 2020 census. So now her District 12 will drop the high desert region and instead pick up areas of Fresno and Tulare County. Grove says she's looking forward to reaching out to some new constituents. Issues that we're running on and that hopefully will resonate with our Fresno uh, new part of the area is making sure that we have a great energy supply, uh, all of the above, making sure that education is a priority and that parents have a choice in education, uh, soft on crime policies that need to be addressed, working with our district attorney here in Kern County, Cynthia Zimmer, specifically targeting human trafficking and um, some other types of crime that are affecting all of us as citizens. We don't even feel safe walking out of our homes sometime. Uh, we have requested a, or actually demanded, a special session to address a homeless issue. Grove says she believes the governor's efforts to, uh, and initiatives to combat homelessness like the Project Room Key just aren't addressing that issue correctly. Well, we're continuing to highlight solutions for the homelessness crisis in our community. At CSUB, they're now offering multiple resources to make sure students have a place to call home. The Basic Needs Program provides students with a dorm for up to 30 days, as well as a meal plan. During those 30 days, students meet weekly with a case manager who connects them to services like CalFresh and figure out a more permanent living arrangement. The university hopes this program provides relief for students in need. We know housing is a long-term solution. We see this 30 days as a wonderful uh, measure to get through that first period, but we are really working to connect them down the road, whether it be on campus or off campus. The program is available on a first come, first serve basis. We have a link to the application on our website, turn to 23com Students at CSUB are hitting the books starting Monday, but they won't be on campus. CSUB will begin its spring semester with all courses held remotely. According to the school, that will last at least three weeks. Students and faculty will then have until February 11th to get their COVID booster shots and report it to the university. Today, the U.S. Postal Service is looking for new recruits. They're hosting a job fair at the Bakersfield Post Office on Pegasus Drive from 9 to 1. They're hiring for multiple positions. It's free and open to everyone. Well, inflation is the topic no one really wants to talk about, but it impacts every American. So how can you save money at the grocery store? Consumer reporter John Matteris has answers so you don't waste your money. Dr. Shelley Kirk is a nutritionist who, like all of us, has been stunned by the recent rise in grocery prices. I think there's sticker shock. But she says you can lower those soaring bills with a shopping strategy, starting with a plan for five meals a week. You want to make up a list. You want to figure out your meals in advance. And never shop hungry. Because that's going to... Oh open the door for a lot more impulse buying. Skip pre-sliced fruits and vegetables, which are often three times the price. And you think, well, this is a, a time saver for me, but the cost. Shelly says also skip expensive steak dinners. When people think about a meal and its center is the meat, that's where you go off. Instead, buy less expensive beef that can be used in multiple meals. Stretch the meat that you do have. So whether it's in a chili or a stew or a soup. Example, homemade chili that costs less than $10 and lasts forever. Or you can actually have it as a taco meal. You can, you can use chili in a variety of ways. Shelly says avoid shopping with young children if you can, but if you have to bring them, just remember that the sugary snacks are going to be down at their eye level. And they see things that are at their eye level and they're often not very nutritious for you. She says give kids water, not expensive and sugary juice boxes. You can bypass on this and save a bundle. Want 1980s prices? She says look for recipes that use rice. So here is brown rice. Or pasta, which still costs pennies per serving. It's a staple and it's affordable. Finally, she says use coupons, buy store brands, and stock up when things are on sale. And that's going to be a money saver. And that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. Coming up on 23ABC, downtown Bakersfield celebrating the newest place to eat. In this week's Foodie Friday, we're taking a look at some of the signature, signature dishes served at Zalma. To you by San Joaquin Valley Air District. By working together, we can continue to clean up our valley's air. I'm craving something crisp. Something hot and crunchy. Light, leafy and good. Yeah, good and fried. I got, I got it. it. 
I'll just have a salad. Introducing a salad for both sides of you. New Dos Locos Salads from El Pollo Loco. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. We are professional grade GMC. It's about time to watch on your time. So if you stopped using this or this and started streaming on this, or this, or maybe this. You can find our news free to watch anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's about time we fit into your schedule. Streaming local news 24 seven. Search 23ABC on your device. One of the biggest giveaways of the year is this Saturday as the Condors host Youth Jersey Giveaway for the first 2,000 kids 12 and under. Save money with a hat trick pack and get a Condors hat, bobblehead, and four tickets. Kids are free with a purchase of an adult ticket. We'll see you there for Youth Jersey Giveaway Saturday. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We are just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. This is pollo. This is 55 minutes of slow grilled flavor. This is fresh, never frozen, and always cut to order. Download the app and enjoy pollo perfection from El Pollo Loco. We've always been interconnected, interdependent, united. And that's never been more apparent than right now. What we do together today will determine how we live united tomorrow. Stay home, stay strong, and if you're able, give for your neighbors who need help the most. A new restaurant in downtown Bakersfield is offering up unique Latin American meals. For today's Foodie Friday, I had a chance to stop by and see how Zama makes two of their dishes. Check it out. Hey everyone, we have a brand new restaurant. It is a Latin American restaurant called Zama here in downtown Bakersfield. This is Daniel, he's one of the chefs here. And today he's going to show us a couple of their favorite dishes. So what dishes are you making us today? Well, today we're gonna make an aguachile, black aguachile, made with fresh uh, fish. And we're gonna make an octopus on the grill with uh, different flavors here in Zama. We have a Hollywood that is a fresh fish. So we put lemon here. And then we're gonna put a little oregano. We're gonna use onions, cucumber. So with this aguachile, we made this sauce, black sauce with the squid ink and a roasted a black chilies. So that is the flavor for this aguachile. We put avocado for decoration, watermelon radish, fresh pomegranate, cilantro microgreens, and crispy tortilla. Okay, in this side we have an octopus. We're gonna put the, this black chili sauce. This black chili sauce is made with uh, chili ancho, Pasilla and guajillo sauce. Thin fries. Well, thank you so much for showing us those two dishes. They look beautiful, smell amazing. If you want to check out more of their dishes, check out their Instagram page. It is Zama Latin American Cuisine. 
The food looked so good. I was right? very impressed out there. <laughs> that presentation, just so mm -hmm. fun. I love having more cultural Beautiful. food access. Oh, fun. Uh, all right, this is fun too. Kiddos, you get to go back to bed if you're in one of these districts. Sorry, Bakersfield, not you. But three hour delay for RBG. We know that Rio Bravo Greeley is always kind of fog central out there. But also Button Willow, Maple, McFarland, Richland, Pond, Shafter High, Semi Tropic, Wasco High, and Wasco Elementary. All two hour delays this morning because of the dense fog. But watch what's happening here in Bakersfield. It's very gray. It's very foggy the further west you go. Tatchby, some low clouds. Isabella, Fridge Park, a little bit of that early morning glow. We're going to go from fog to quickly changing things around to wind. So right now we're pretty saturated, hence the fog. Calm conditions. We're seeing that it's very gray, but also see this notch here. We're pushing against that fog already as winds pick up from the desert. So watch out for the fog through about 8, 9 o'clock this morning, and then these winds pick up that wind advisory for the mountain and desert communities from mid morning all the way through midday tomorrow. The fastest of the winds this afternoon into this evening. Northeasterly 25 to 35 miles an hour sustained 55 mile an hour wind gusts or faster. You know all the problems that causes hard to travel through our passes, especially fallen trees and power lines could come down. We could also have power outages as a result of that. And this is just Kern County further to the south. If you're taking the five south towards Southern California, that's a high wind warning. We could have gusts to 70 to 75 miles an hour through there. Not a good day to be driving your big rig if you can set your schedule back. Not a good day for trailers and campers because again, these winds are between these two systems, so it's no rain. It's just a lot of these blustery conditions for the rest of today and the first half of tomorrow. So keep that in mind that we're starting off calm and foggy and then we quickly clear. There's no rain, so you'll have sunshine, but that really dry parched air rushing through. It does mean moderate air quality, so we like that. Tomorrow it's breezy for the first half of the day, calmer, but you can see cold for the condors to be back on the home ice tomorrow night. Sunday, everybody is watching football. You can do that in your backyards. You know, you roll the TV out there and barbecue. Fantastic. High pressure rebuilds Sunday, so we're calmer next week. Means a chance of fog out there. Isabella, similar highs, faster winds. Tatchby, Fraser Park, again, very careful on those passes all day today and at least the first half of tomorrow. So with the fog this morning, and then winds later. What else do we need to know about traffic, Robert? Hey, thank you very much, Elena. Good morning, everybody. Well, we are uh, still on scene of that earlier crash. Again, it's going to be on South Fairfax Road at Panama Lane, uh, or north of Panama Lane. And again, two vehicles are involved here. They do have uh, lanes blocked out there. So we do have tow trucks in route. So just keep that in mind as you're, as you're, if you're heading out that